Um, I'll go ahead and start. If you can find your seat, whether it's on a cushion or a chair. And if you are on a chair, just keeping your soles of your feet flat on the ground. And let's just arrive here by closing your eyes or having them slightly open, whichever is more comfortable for you. Placing your hands where it's comfortable, maybe on your lap. And I just want you to arrive in your body right now. Notice what is going on within you at this moment. And starting with your physical sensations. Taking this in, I'm going to just do a little bit of movement. And you can keep your eyes closed if you like, or you can have your eyes just a little bit open. We're just gonna do a seated twist just to get our bodies a little bit more deeply embodied here. Placing your left hand in front of you and your right hand in back of you. Maybe uh, the fingertips are gripping on something. And as you breathe in, breathe in through the crown of your head, like there's a column of breath. And as you breathe out, you can twist towards your right. Just gently a little bit. And another breath. Breathing in and then twisting again. One more breath in. And then twisting all the way. Just go as far as you're comfortable. No need to strain here. And maybe even your eyes twist over to the right side. And gently holding. And when you're ready, you can come back to center, just letting that go gently. And when you come back to center, turn your attention inward and notice any physical sensations, maybe the difference between your right side and your left side. Now putting your right fingertips in front of you and your left fingertips behind you. Breathing in through the crown of your head with a tall spine and then twisting gently over to the left side just a little bit. Pausing and then breathing in again. And twisting. One more breath up through the crown of your head, through that column of breath and then twisting. And maybe your eyes also gazing toward the left. Holding this one more moment. And then gently letting that go, coming back to center. Again, closing your eyes or just going inward. Maybe you can have your palms facing out, facing uh, up. Just receiving the sensations, noticing the left side of your body. Any differences there? Bring your awareness to what's around you, sound-wise. Can you invite in the sounds around you into your space? What's the most prominent sound?
see if you can get let go of the concepts. Just notice the quality of the sound. So in other words, if you hear a clock ticking, perhaps letting your mind not say clock, but just say, oh, I hear this sound, tick tock. And what's the next sound that you hear that's less prominent? And any other sounds, so subtle, that is around you. And I'd like you to take a journey with me tonight as we peer into some memories. I'd like you to think about a happy memory. A happy memory, something that just makes you smile. Bring that into your consciousness. It could be recent, it could be a long time ago. And notice what physical sensations arise in your body. Paying attention to the heart area, do you notice anything there? Is there perhaps a sense of acceptance? Any other sensations in your body that this happy memory brings to your being? Now I'd like you to switch gears and think of a memory that brings up some fear. It doesn't have to be an incredibly fearful thing, maybe just slightly fearful. Certainly if you have a lot of trauma surrounding something, maybe you don't wanna pick that. But choosing a memory that brings up, brings up some fear for you. What sensations in your body do you notice? Do you notice perhaps as some sort of contraction? Maybe a numbness? A discomfort? Where do you feel that, feel that discomfort? Does it feel like you're accepting or not accepting this memory? Tonight, I wanted to do a little bit of investigation on our fears that replay itself in our being as if they're happening over and over again, and how sometimes fear can make us feel like a prisoner. How can we take steps to help ourselves liberate from this 
trance. With this memory in your mind, can you sense a way for you to open up to it more? Can you name it? Are you able to name what this fear is about? Is there a sense of forgiveness that could take place within this memory? Forgiveness of him, her, yourself. It's okay if we cannot forgive right now. I'm just calling this up as something that could be in your space, just to think about, just to examine. Yesterday I was uh, doing yoga in the park on the grass and uh, afterwards I sat meditating for a little bit and you know, these ants started to crawl up my leg and, you know, I don't really like that sensation. So I, I would get out of my meditation and I would start chewing them away. And, and then I noticed one minute, two minutes later, as I was still sitting there, that I would feel ants on my leg or on my arm or even in my hair. And they weren't even there. It was a ghost of a fear that I had. They were ghost ants. So I'm just telling you that just as, as a little story of how we replay this sense of fear, how we're so conditioned to do that. So, What if, what if the next time you can catch yourself being caught in this state of fear? What if instead of expecting to have the same experience that keeps us prisoner, what if, what if we could change our perception? What if we can change our reality? And we do this by being mindful. It's one tool and it's not a dogma. I'm not here to preach. I just want to share this as something that you can see for yourself, see if it works. to notice it, to name it, see if you can accept it. Maybe forgive it. And let go of it. And when you do, as you're doing right now, perhaps you can notice how you feel afterwards. Is there a, the slightest sense of a little bit of freedom, perhaps? A little bit more openness and expansion? Take a nice deep breath into your heart. And let it go.
it's been 15 minutes, so I'd like to gather our palms together to the center of our hearts. And give yourself some gratitude for showing up today to do this practice and to share this practice with others. Namaste. Thank you.